Hello, Leo, and welcome to my channel, Awaken with Nancy. Um, if you are a returning viewer, I am going to be doing something a little bit different today. I um, recently, just a few days ago, uploaded your mid-September soul connections in separation love reading. Today, we are going to get some guidance from your animal spirit. And we are going to look at um, the overall theme for the reading. We're going to look at what your biggest blessings are, what your biggest challenges are. And then finally, we're going to look to the future. And so this is going to be a general reading, you guys, and it's not going to resonate for all. This is a general reading. It's not a love specific reading, though love could come through. Okay, so I would love to hear your comments about this reading. Um, if people like it, then I'm happy to keep doing this reading going forward. All right. Um, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below with a link that will direct you to online booking at my website, awakenwithnancy.com. Um, when booking, please indicate in the notes if you'd like a phone reading, Zoom, which is recordable or a pre-recorded. If you'd like a pre-recorded, please indicate in the notes your zodiac sign. If you are inquiring about another person, their name, their sign, and um, also just a brief description of what's been going on between the two of you. Very much appreciated. Saves me a lot of time from following up. Um, you guys, I am offering a new reading. Uh, I have been going through a spiritual ascension for a while. It's been, I don't know, about a month or six weeks. It's been pretty intense. Um, and so I've been guided to offer new readings for the collective to help them as they go through their own ascension process. And so the new reading is live in alignment. And if you scroll down on my website, it is at the last reading and it is a one hour reading, you guys. Um, during the reading, we will look at your 3D reality and your 5D truth and what is out of alignment, um, what needs to be released, what needs to be changed, what choices need to be made in order to bring those two into alignment so that you can move more into wholeness. So I'm very excited to offer this new reading to you and I hope that you guys will book with me. Um, all right, that is it. So, Leo, your spirit animal is the arma armadillo, and this is all about setting healthy boundaries. This is something that many people struggle with, and so I'm not surprised to see this come through. Um, this is asking you to look at the areas in your life where you have poor boundaries. So for example, do you say yes when you really want to say no? Are you saying yes because you feel guilty, um, you know, not honoring others' requests of you? Um, do you allow people to take advantage of you? Um, you know, do you allow people to disrespect you? Um, do you know it's going to be different for everybody but this is a very very powerful message and it is a theme that comes through in the collective readings quite a bit think of the queen of swords she is the queen of healthy boundaries so what does that mean for you this is guidance to really go within and look at look at you know where where you're out of alignment with respect to your boundaries okay so i love that um the overall energy for the reading is the serpent and this is from all of these are new decks you guys but this is from the mystical shaman oracle and i think this is probably my favorite deck it's really really incredible the guidebook um, has three segments for each card. And the first segment is the essence. The second segment is the invitation. And the third is the medicine. Really, really cool. So 
the serpent um, is the life force of Mother Earth. The coiled serpent of the Kundalini brings passion, healing, and renewal. She offers us the fruit of the tree of knowledge in the Garden of Eden and reminds us to shed the past the way she sheds her tired old skin. Serpent comes to offer you the forbidden fruit that will set your passion and creativity free. Um, this is about embracing mastery, shedding your old skin and those things that you've been, you know, become attached to and, you know, start living in a different way. Um, be open yourself up to being vulnerable, to live through compassion, to, uh, tear down those walls that you've built to protect yourself. Um, this is about your passion and your sexuality awakening, and it can be, it can be pretty powerful, you guys, and pretty scary. Um, but this is, you know, just about transformation and you know it's not it's not going to be easy but you can do it with some grace um yeah you can shed the skin with some grace it 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 won't be easy but it doesn't have to be super painful either now with this shedding what i'm feeling and we're going to get some tarot on this um part of the shedding is about releasing things set it setting clear boundaries and releasing those things that aren't serving you, cutting those things out. So people, places, things, if you're in a job that doesn't bring you joy, if your friends are just not appreciating, supporting, or understanding you, it's, it's time to just shed those things from your life. Now, let's see. This is a very Scorpio card. Let's get some tarot on this. See what else wants to come through. Well, that showed itself. Ooh, I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to take all of those. I'm just going to take these two. Okay, pretty incredible energy. Um, clarifying the serpent is the death card, you guys. It's the same thing. It is dying and being reborn. It's transformation. It's profound change. It is the phoenix rising from the ashes. As you shed the skin, as you release these things, you are going to be reborn a, uh, you know, a fresher, better version of yourself. This is absolutely incredible. And with a star coming through, this is amazing. One of my most favorite cards in the deck. This is about wishes being fulfilled, the stars aligning, hope, healing, beautiful energy. So what I'm feeling is as you go through this death process, this shedding of this old skin, as you stand up for yourself and honor, you know, what you want in life and you are going to, um, the stars are going to be aligning for you and it's going to bring in a deep, deep healing. And ultimately your wishes are going to come true and you guys not to cut to the chase, but this is really interesting because the last card is wishes fulfilled. So definitely there are big changes coming in for you, Leo. This is amazing. Um, Okay, now the next energy that we have, this is from the Psychic Tarot, and this is sacrifice. So this is your biggest blessing right now, Leo. And this is equivalent to the hanged man in the traditional tarot. And, you know, what this says is powerful achievements are usually born as a result of great sacrifice. This card represents self-sacrifice and a time when you should look around your life to see what needs to be released. Do you see there's such a theme coming through with the boundaries, 
um, the death card, the serpent card, and now this sacrifice. There is something in your life, Leo, that you need to release perhaps multiple things and it may be a, it may feel like it's a great sacrifice to you but spirit is guiding you to do just that because it's going to transform your life and all of your dreams are going to come true when you do this hard work when you make this incredible sacrifice um, by surrendering and letting go there will be more room to receive the rewards for this are transformation, that word again, wisdom, gratitude, and enlightenment. There is a situation happening or about to occur in your life and you can't control the outcome. This is about being patient, resting, reflecting, meditating. So this is really a period of transition for you, Leo. And the solutions that you're seeking may not come along as fast as you would like, but it's necessary to just go within and allow the illumination to come in divine timing. There are new doors that are wanting to open for you. New paths that are going to, you know, come into sight. Um, so this is uh, this is pretty darn incredible reading, you guys. So now I'm just going to pull a couple cards. Oh my gosh. Wow. Clarifying the sacrifice card, the hanged man. We have the lovers. This is about a duality. This is also about a choice and it could represent a soulmate. So for some of you, there's a couple messages that are coming through for me. I do want to pull another card. Um, relationships are a, are a huge issue for you. Um, not issue. I don't want to say issue. Um, relationships feature very large in your life. It's a huge focus for you. I feel that you are learning a lot about love and relationships, the importance of boundaries, the importance of letting go of sacrifice in order to bring in what you're really desiring. Many of you may be in like that eight of cups energy, um, not fully satisfied. So you're, you're, going on a path to to bring in that wish fulfillment and move into wholeness figuring out what brings you that ultimate contentment who your perfect partner is and um wow amazing yeah so for some of you there is going to be a choice in love this is the head and heart synthesis. Do I go with my head or do I go with my heart? Do I go with what makes sense or do I go with what feels good? What feels true? So for some of you, the sacrifice is going to be letting go of a relationship, of um, a love relationship, somebody in your life. And the other clarifiers we've got are the two of inspiration, which is the wands card, okay? Okay. And this is um, really, you know, it is kind of a fork in the road. It's like which path is, is going to lead me to my ultimate destination. This is about looking to the future and planning and really figuring out what your next steps are. And it is a choice because there are two paths that you can take. And so we've got two cards about choice here. And, you know, there is a reader that um, I like very much. And she always reads this card, the two of wands, as a twin flame. 
So, you know, with the lovers coming up, some of you could definitely be in a twin flame connection and you may be about to walk away from this connection. Interesting. The final message for you, the final clarifier on the sacrifice is the muse of inspiration. This is the king of wands. This is incredible energy. I feel that when you make this sacrifice, when you make this decision, when you start shedding your skin and these belief systems and these soul patterns, and you assert yourself, you honor yourself, and you're firm in your boundaries, that the entire trajectory of your life, your soul's journey is going to change. You are going to feel reinvigorated, re-inspired, and the vision for your life is going to become very clear. This, you are going to be able to finally, finally move into self-mastery and achieve whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve. All of your wishes will be fulfilled. This is really incredible. It is not going to be easy. Okay, so you guys, now what we're going to do, we're going to look at what is challenging you. We have the um, judgment card. This is from the soul's journey. And this is interesting because it's purple and it's also black. Um, so I feel that with a black in this card, there is some sort of negative energy, some sort of negative force that's been dragging you down. And that is why the serpent and the death card are coming through. It's time to release this energy, walk away from it. Um, with the purple, this is really about your own inner wisdom. This is the brow chakra. And this says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And this, um, this is in the challenge position. This is one of your challenges is, um, and I think that's why the hanged man is coming in as a blessing. It's really interesting. Um, because the hanged man is about seeing things from a higher perspective. And then we've got the brow chakra over here. And this is all about wisdom. So your inner wisdom is both your biggest blessing and your biggest challenge. It's trusting, trusting your intuition, trusting that wisdom that you hold within you. And, you know, it's, it's, it is related very much to this lover's card. Do I go with my head or do I go with my heart? What you want in the physical realm may not be what's best for you at this time. And maybe your person has some more lessons that they're needing to learn. And so it's important for you to just allow them to go on their own journey, experience what they need to experience, and not judge them for their decisions. Because, you know, we, we can't understand another person unless we walk in their shoes. And we can really only walk in our own shoes. So basically what I'm saying to you is we don't know what motivates other people and therefore we should just allow them to have their own journey and remain in a place of, of non-judgment. And you guys, this is a, this is a lesson that I've been learning. I am a Scorpio and I can be a judgy little bitch at times, <laughs> but that's, you know, that's part of my journey is letting that go and just seeing things from a higher perspective. Wow. You are getting so many wands, Leo. 
This is incredible. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the two of wands again, looking to the future and planning. So clarifying this judgment card, we've got the 10 of wands and the six of wands. This is absolutely incredible. The 10 of wands is the ending of a difficult cycle. It is um, about laying down all those burdens, all of these wands that are, you know, the poor boundaries, the um, limiting belief system, the soul patterns, the addictions, the fears, the doubts, the, um, you know, need to control others, the need to know an outcome. These are all burdens that have been holding you back. And of course, you know, it's going to be different for everybody, but these are just a few examples. With the six of wands coming through, this tells me that you are going to be victorious on this new path. You are going to shed this skin. You are going to shed all of these wands. You're going to let go of them once and for all. And oh my goodness, that is absolutely incredible. Okay, so we are on to the final card. And this is what you can look forward to in the future, Leo. We've got the five of keys. This is wishes fulfilled. And I'm going to read this to you. I mean, obviously, I know what this means. But yeah, this card is a sign that the time has come for your wishes to be fulfilled and your dreams to be realized. Difficulties may have challenged you for a time, but even in these victory is assured. There is an abundance of sweet nourishments and acquired lands coming. The keys to the castle are yours. Celebrate. Wow. Amazing. Now, I just want to get a couple clarifiers. And I'm using my angel tarot deck. And I love these. These are new to me. Um, all of the major arcana are angels, which is really incredible. So let's just, I love it. There is a progression. Oh, there is a progression in this reading because now in the outcome, in the future, we've got the three of wands. So you're moving beyond the two of wands, which is that choice. Okay, and so you are preparing. This says preparation. This is preparing for your ships to come in. This is preparing for your wishes to be fulfilled. This is about doing the work, okay? Um, working on your boundaries, your beliefs, shedding these, these old habits that have been holding you back, sacrificing what needs to be sacrificed in order to move toward this place where your wishes are going to be fulfilled. And we have got the King of Cups for you. This is incredible energy. Um, and this is just going so beautifully with the lover's energy because the King of Cups, you know, this is an energy of self-mastery and it's mastery of the emotions. The King of Cups has really learned how to balance out his, um, his intellect with his emotions so that one does not override the other. It's a perfect balance and it's beautiful. And that is, you know, how he is able to make decisions in his life. It's very even killed. Um, you know, he doesn't get stuck in his in his mental body. He doesn't get stuck in his emotional body. He considers, you know, both of these um, both of these courses or, you know, the information that comes from both of these places before he makes decisions. And so this is a very, very incredible energy. Um, and this, you know, this does say commitment. This is a water sign. Um, so this could, you know, I do feel that this indicates that in the future, you are going to move into self-mastery 
and you're going to be strong in your boundaries. You're going to release all of these things that need to be released. You are going to sacrifice what you need to sacrifice, even though it's incredibly difficult. Um, you're going to be victorious. And what I am feeling from this is this could be a person coming in for you. Um, a very mature, spiritually enlightened person who feels very, very deeply is um, very wise and very, very loving and compassionate and approaches relationships from a place of unconditional love. And you guys, I feel, um, wow, I'm kind of getting chills. I feel that this person, and it doesn't have to be a man, it could be a man or a woman, but what I'm feeling is that this person could be a teacher to you. Um, so I do feel that this is potentially love coming in for some of you, and this love is going to be a teacher to you. Um, and they are going to teach you the importance of emotional mastery and relying on your own wisdom and to just, you know, drop any judgment that you may have about others' journeys. Um, deeply, deeply spiritual energy that's coming through. Um, okay, I think I want to get one last card for you. And then we will call it a reading. <laughs> wow. I should have just selected that card. It's the royal you. It's about moving into your own sovereignty. And, you know... Leo, there is um, a feeling of, you know, royalty about you. You are the lion. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I am going to take that other card. Incredible. A grand symphony and in perfect harmony. So Leo, I feel that the best is yet to come. There is something so beautiful coming in for you guys. Um, and I have Leo rising, so this makes me very, very happy. Um, I just feel there's more harmony coming in to your life. And these battles that you've been going through these challenges are a thing of the past. This is absolutely incredible. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for joining me today. I'm sending you guys lots of love. Bye.